Hi there, my name is Ridhar and I'm from India. I have uh, Verizon Foyas internet at home. Wireless router is from Action Tech. Model number is MI424WR with revision F. Uh, recently I got an Apple time capsule. Uh, here I show you how to set it up as a wireless access point. First, open up any internet browser and type in 192.168.1.1 that is the address of uh, your Action Tech router. Type in your username and password. If this is your first time, I believe user username would be admin, all in lowercase. Password would be password, again all in lowercase. If this password doesn't work, try serial number on the router. Once you are in, go to wireless settings. From there, go to basic security settings on the left hand side. Turn wireless radio off by selecting the off radio button. Scroll down and hit the apply. Obviously you would lose net connection if you are connected to this wireless network. I have already turned the button off so I don't have to apply it. I'm closing, I'm logging out. Close it. Then power up your time capsule. Connect time capsule to Action Tech router with Ethernet cable. On Action Tech router, cable should be connected to one of the LAN ports. On time capsule, it should be connected to WAN port. It has a circle symbol above it. Open up airport utility. It looks like this. First time you would see the circles here in amber color. Click on the capsule image here. If you want to see the MAC addresses associated with the time capsule, hover over the name and as you see here you would get the MAC addresses. Click on edit, give it a name, I gave it as Sridhar's time capsule, set password, I selected remember this password in my keychain, go to internet tab, here for connect using, make sure that you select static. No DHCP. DHCP server would still be Action Tech router. For IP address, give something on the LAN but something above 100. Unless you have devices more than 100 at your home, it should be fine. As you see, I went for 192.168.1.180. Basically what I'm trying to say is go for something that's not being used by other devices. Uh, sometimes what happens is you give it something like 192.168.1.5 or something then Action Tech Router would try to give this address for the new device that's being connected to the network which is not good. You would see something like network interference. Subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Router address, this is the address of Action Tech Router which would be 192.168.11 Make sure that you put the points in between them. Go to wireless tab Network mode I selected create a wireless network because I am creating a new wireless network. Wireless network name, this would be the name of your wireless network you would see when you are trying to connect your computers or cell phones or anything. Give it whatever you like. I gave Unix operator because I love Unix. Anyway, wireless security, I went for uh, WPA, WA2 personal. That is the most secure. Wireless password, 
your preference and uh, remember this password in my keychain i selected it and if you would like to create enable guest network go for enable get ne guest network you know give it a different name not unix operator okay and uh, select the network security network password make sure that it is different from the other network then important step go to the network tab and here for the router mode make sure that you go for off bridge mode okay because uh, we don't want this to be a dhcp server it's just in bridge mode okay we just want this to be a wireless access point once you are done with it click update oh by the way don't select this option enable access control unless you know what you are doing if you want to know more about this see my other videos okay and then click update here i'm not going to click update because i have already done it so i don't have to click update once you click update it's going to take a while for time capsule to update the settings once everything is done you would see these circles in green color just like here which indicates that everything went fine now test it use your iphone or maybe galaxy s3 or whatever your iphone or some other computer try to connect to the network using the wireless network name you created and with the password you put in there that's it, it should work let me know if you have any questions or problems thanks